I'm Tanya Welfare and I'm a USQ student. I actually finished school at grade 10, um, worked odds and end jobs and then got into a hairdressing apprenticeship. Uh, finished the apprenticeship, owned my own salons, I had three salons and when the girls started coming along, my children, um, it just got too hard to actually work such long hours owning your own business and having the kids so when the second was born I sold the salon. I remember sitting outside waiting for the kids to finish their ballet lessons and thinking to myself that I needed more, it wasn't enough. Um, and I started thinking about returning back to study to become the teacher that I always wanted to be and so finally that's what I did. Being a home mum, it does take a little bit away from you. You don't feel um, that you are a contributor to society. I mean, you know you are. You're raising kids. You're doing the best you can and they're becoming, you know, wonderful little human beings themselves. But it's not really enough. So, yeah, this is really big for me. And finishing at grade 10 and getting into university, that was like... I was nervous about being in amongst a lot of other younger students and feeling out of my league. I didn't want to look like an idiot in front of other people. The reason I chose USQ was because of the smaller community environment, the campus size, the amount of people that I'd be studying with it was more suited to what I needed. There is an open door policy on campus and I think it's because of that reason that I have succeeded so well. Um, in my first year when I wasn't sure what was expected of me, I had one particular lecturer who um, gave me a lot of feedback, spent a lot of time with me, talked with me and really encouraged me and I think that made all the difference. I'll go in and they know me by name. I think, why do you remember me? <laughs> what have I done? But yeah, no, it's, it's, it's all part of the atmosphere of feeling a sense of belonging and I think that's why I've thrived so well there because I feel like I belong. My husband always says that he never signed up for university. He doesn't need the degree but he's getting one anyway. Yeah, he helps me a lot. He um, reads my assignments, uh, discusses little ethical dilemmas that I may have, uh, rubrics or criteria sheets. If I'm looking at it and thinking, oh, I'm not sure what they're asking me here, he'll have a look at it and put his insight in and together we work out what it is that's being said. Looking forward to having, like when she's finished and she has her own class, I think like with university she gets um, the prac, she goes for two, three weeks, four weeks, gets attached to the kids and then has to leave. She is a nurturer, she's a carer. She likes to see people succeed. And I think that she will um, do what she's got to do to make sure that her class is the best and does succeed. Not leave anybody behind. I'll keep him. <laughs> we'll be married for another 17 years. <laughs> oh, damn. You only get seven for murder, you know that, don't you? The thing I love about teaching is that one child in the classroom that doesn't necessarily get every concept that's being taught to them or experiencing and finally the light turns on and they click and they respond in the classroom, they put their hand up and they say their response and it's spot on and no one else in the classroom thought of it, just them. Yeah, I've got goosies. <laughs> that's, that's an incredible feeling. When I first started university I just wanted to pass. My husband tells me this all the time when I'm up to three o'clock in the morning studying. He says, "Hun, you just wanted to pass. You're killing yourself, but you just wanted to pass. I said, well, I don't want to pass now. I want to do perfect. How are you going? Pretty close to perfect. <laughs> <laughs>